the first law of advancement that I want to share tonight is called the law of vision. The law of vision. Please pay attention. The law of vision. Jeremiah chapter 1 please from verse 11 and 12. The law of vision. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see, but this is what I see, the rod of an almond tree. Verse 12, then saith the Lord unto me, thou hast seen well, for I will hasten my God. So there is a relationship between speed and vision. The moment you see well, you compel speed in your life. Because you have seen correctly, I will hasten. I was going to perform it anyway, but on the strength of the clarity of your vision, I will hasten my word to perform it. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14 and 15. Genesis chapter 13, we are discussing vision. The Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou art, northwards and southwards and eastwards and westwards. 15. It says, For all the land which thou seest, to thee I will give unto thy seed forever. Not the land that is available, the one you see is the one that is given to you. There's vast land available, but as far as your vision can capture, that is what will be delivered unto you. What is vision? A clear picture of the next level of your life. A clear picture of your destiny. This is very powerful. There are many well-meaning believers, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, and they have ignored the power of vision to the detriment of their progress. Vision is powerful. A clear picture of the next level of your life. It is in this area that both science and religion agree that without vision there is no movement. Motion is a function of vision. There is no car that does, does not have a provision to look at. There is no plane. No matter how, how managed they must give space because sight is what controls movement. The pilot must see the driver must see. The captain must see. I don't know any creature that has his eyes backward. Every creature I know has the eyes forward. Because you only move in the direction of your eyes. Vision is powerful. Please listen carefully. The vision for my life. This ministry continues to make giant strides in the spirit because your pastor has a vision very clear vision are we together now now as powerful as vision is it does not profit you just remaining as vision you must break your vision into goals and break your vision into daily tasks until your vision becomes daily tasks it will only remain a dream in the realm of the spirit there are people who have done well in terms of writing a theme that seems to coordinate their lives but were unable to break the visions into goals what is a goal a desired end an expected end a subset of that vision and you break it into tasks there is an energy there is a power that vision gives when you break your vision into tasks, it gives you focus vision gives you the legitimate ground to say no to many things there are many things you will not be able to have the courage to say no to until you have vision vision gives you the legitimate ground to say no to many things if you are not a man of vision, you are not a woman of vision, you will not have the courage to say no to so many things. And there are many things, 24 hours was given to you with respect to your vision. So time will never be enough to mix your vision alongside many distractions. You will have to cut away so many things to give you the time and to give you focus. Can I tell you this? 
the unit of destiny is time whatever you give your time to you are given part of your life to and you must be sure that every minute and every second you commit to anything is worth that while everybody say vision show me a man who has nothing working in his life but vision i show you a man who is already walking his way to a dimension of kingdom influence dimension of grace that no principality and power can stop vision is powerful i do not know any leader who is not visionary even the devil is visionary he has been clear about his assignment even jesus testified about the dexterity of satan's assignment that anytime you see him he is there to steal to kill to destroy there's no record of him coming to advise there's no record of him coming anytime the thief cometh not that means he has no business coming except this singular vision no wonder he seems to be succeeding the law is so powerful where we are right now because we are hoping God will find a way of just lifting us very very spiritual but very wrong some of those superstitious thinkings in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be delivered from it now we have many sociological wise sayings they look spiritual because they've been handed down by well-intentioned people but these things are they give access to the devil to blind our minds and our progress one day you go better you've heard that kind of saying i know my god is too faithful to just leave me like that you are right but with respect to this truth you are wrong i introduce to you the god of systems hoping that your life will change just because it's alive let me tell you this there are many children there are many people who are dying if god were to act he would attend to them first before he comes to you even at the at the detriment of your eternal salvation he did not interrupt your choice there are people today who woke up this morning but as we speak they are in hell now and yet god is still seated on his throne so hoping that one day something will just happen is a joke you have to prophesy to yourself myself wake up one day i will have a global ministry one day in the name of jesus i will bless people wonderful congratulations except for the fact that it will only remain a wish in the realm of the spirit let me tell you the difference between a wish and a goal a wish is a desire with no responsibility commitment to it when you set a goal it is a strong desire that is backed up with the willingness to commit whatever it takes under god to actualize that goal responsibility is the key word if all you have is just a desire it will never come to pass your desire must be able to sponsor the willingness to pay whatever price under god to see that it comes to pass are we together you call it gaining momentum so uh, the, the plane is only warming up vision i am amazed pastor at how many christians respectfully speaking live absolutely visionless lives people just move up and down and blame god for everything when they can't see god they blame pastors who they can see for everything and then blame parents blame every now i, I understand that sometimes these things can be emotionally overwhelming but the day you start moving forward is the day you take responsibility over your destiny and say in the name of jesus i'm tired of giving excuses in the name of jesus i'm tired of of legitimizing the continuity of mediocrity and weakness in my life i respect and i sympathize with your background i i sympathize with the fact that you came from a family that was not very responsible I, I'm, I'm not i'm not i sympathize with you but wake up from where thou art lift up your eyes 
for as long as you keep looking down you will soon find your children looking with you you will soon find your grandchildren joining them to look with you many of our parents respectfully speaking kept complaining until we now join them in that complaint you make up your mind in this conference that my children will not find me there in the name of Jesus Christ there are few people historically speaking who had the leverage to be able to rise to positions of influence and notoriety most people had to speak to themselves right from where they were you ask your pastor he will tell you that there were times he had to just shut away and say look it's time for us to move forward i remember talking with a man very great and influential man and this man told me apostle would you believe that as at the time i married my wife i had to give her one of my big sheds when she was pregnant that means you remove your shirt and say wife there's no buying uh, you know those those gowns said i don't have the money for that don't expect anything there but uh, thank god i'm bigger than you we can make do with this the lord will prosper us in the future now that man would have given a careless excuse and now mentor the child and say young man let me tell you how you arrived let me tell you the story and the child in anger and pain will remain there become a teenager become an adult marry his own wife and say don't 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 blame me for being irresponsible i'm continuing something there is a there is a history to this there has to be someone who will break that cycle and it's, it comes with the power of vision what seest thou as for me i see a life of glory in the name of jesus i see an opportunity to wake up every morning transforming a generation blessing a people for someone you are seeing a company that god has been speaking to you you have refused to write it you have refused to take it serious the holy ghost works like a woman if he tries to give you his attention and you ignore it he will step back until he discerns seriousness from you again many of you the reason why god stopped showing you certain things is because he trains that you don't take his speaking serious Abraham come out of your father's house the first assignment is come out come out of your father's house he came from a land of wizardry and witchcraft or of the Chaldeans and he called that traditionally he said come out of your father's house from your kindred from everything to a land that I will show you the transformation started when he changed what he was saying may grace to be visionary rest upon your life hear me you may be in that one room now there's no point faking what can be real just be patient with your destiny you see the powerful thing about vision is that it has the power of omnipresence you can be in a room and your vision can be where you will be tomorrow the, the imagination is powerful it can go you can't listen listen your vision works with your imagination and it can it can go to your future make sure it supervises that that future is real it will come back and take your body there are we together